It's 2 a.m. Let's build the best Elixir Golem deck. Mmm, it's an orange juice. After looking at the deck that I originally built, I felt that the Witch wasn't quite enough oomph for Anti-Air, so I swapped her out for Executioner. He's not as fun, but he works a little bit better, and I think this is going to be the one. I think Bowler works too. Tornado instead of Poison. You might actually need Rocket because I'm seeing a lot of Sparkies, but we're 4 zero in this deck but before we get into the challenge i want to thank everyone that is using code oj the code expires every seven days we get a small kickback for all the gems that you buy for all the package deals that you buy for these ones are these ones worth it for level 10 and 11 very very worth it if you're nearing max and you're low in gold this is actually really good back in my day i had to buy this pile of gold and that was heckin expensive back then i wish i had they had these package deals then i was trying to get things to level 13 for ladder climbing back then that was rough but let's get into nary's elixir extravaganza before we get into that, this video has been brought to you by Summoner's War. For six years, Summoner's War has been one of the most popular RPG titles on the Google Play and the Apple App Store with millions of players around the world. There's over a thousand unique monsters to collect and awaken so you can try out endless team comps and level up your monsters with runes to progress along the dungeons. Check out the global PvP arena and challenge players from around the world to participate in weekly in-game events and customize your own Sky Island. There's a huge global community with global meetups, tons of content available from other YouTubers online, and even an esports league where you can watch and learn to play like pros. It's a perfect time to get started with a massive giveaway event going on. Download the game today and get 100 Mythical Scrolls for free. But wait, there's more. Things are just getting started with additional updates and events that will take place in June for the game's six year anniversary. Download Summoner's War today so you don't miss out. My first lightning was Zenobia. Who will you summon? Again, huge shout out to Summoner's War for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump back into the main content. Again, we don't need skeletons. We don't need anything funny for the elixir droplets of the bird. So we're going to start planting stuff in the very back. I might actually just do a night witch in the very, very, very back. So far, he's got nothing. All right, well, let's do an Electro Dragon just outside of that poison. I kind of want to save that Night Witch, though. So I'm going to bring on a Battle Healer to heal her up from that poison. And that Night Witch is going to be at full health. All right, we're going full send. We're doing two Battle Healers right at the bridge. And then I'm going to do an Executioner on the left side to kind of take care of that uh, Elixir Golem on the left side. I'm going to Rage the right side. I'm feeling good about it. Very, very good. Oh, he's got a firecracker. We gotta get get rid of that stinking firecracker. Again, we'll do two battle healers on the left side. Rage on the battle healers. They're at full health. I like it. Oh my heck, I think that's it. Sparkies, battle healers. That bomb tower ain't nothing on me. It ain't got nothing. Nope. We're raging the center because we just took out both towers. There's no way. Oh my heck, this is not triple elixir. This feels like quad elixir. Maybe even five times elixir. It just ramps up so hard. Oh, it feels good. 5-0 clean. Nah, I like the witch. She can defend and ramp up skeletons. By the time it's all said and done, she can defend against two elixir golems. If they don't have poison just because of the amount of skeletons that start stacking up on her it starts off so slowly with nothing until the first elixir golem dies so we're gonna do one night witch in the very back or a regular witch in the very back i'm gonna heck and poison that witch give it no chance oh okay we gotta do a battle healer just to heal up that witch from that poison and then I, I'm going to mirror the battle healer. I'm going to take every single opportunity I can to use mirror. If you're not mirror, using mirror to double battle healer, you're, you're doing something not quite right. Oh my heck, that's a giant skeleton. Here's the thing with giant skeleton. They do not kill battle healers. Nope. Double battle healer on the right side. Need to take out that heckin' 
Wizard, make it retarget onto my Elixir Golden at least. Oh yeah. Double poison on all those skeletons right now. I can't tell if I'm winning, but I'm not losing. Okay, double battle healers on the right side because we've got a really good momentum going on. We've got two battle healers on the left side. We're looking like we're going to start stacking real hard now. I'm going to get more battle healers on the right side. We may have lost the tower, but I've not lost hope. Let's do a Night Witch there. Little Witch on top of that. And I'm going to poison that Witch and Wizard up there. And then I'm going to mirror poison on the right side to take out the tower and all that noise. I needed to mirror the poison. So now I don't have a mirror battle healer. But we have the left side. There's no heckin' way you're going to stop that massive, massive push. The 20 Skarmies. Forget the Executioner. Forget that Time Theft hard countered this deck. He made me lose confidence. I faltered and I chose the Executioner over the Witch. The Witch is so much better in terms of fun. I like it. The, the Witches just stack up so hard. Lose one tower. More like give them false hope. We're going to start off with the Night Witch in the very back. It's so slow. Just chilling out. Okay, he's got a magic archer on the other side. Well then, I'm going to do a sparky on the left side to kind of defend it. And poison on the magic archer. Oh, those witches are going to... That night witch is going to start stacking them skelly bat things. Let's do an e-wiz on that... Yep. Electro dragon connects on to that sparky. Oh, beautiful. Now we're going to double battle healer the left side. He, he's not going to be able to stop this. That's it. We're raging the, the left side. Oh, heck and heck. Forget it. Now I'm going to double battle healer the right side. He's got nothing for this. Nope. We're going to poison that Electro Wizard. I keep saying Electro Wizard, but it's Electro Dragon. Oh yeah, let's Battle Healer that... Magic Archer. Nope. Poison that. I, I don't know what's going on. But we're going to Quad Battle Healer the right side. Nothing is going to get through. My Witches will prevail. I feel like there's a lot of dragons and maybe dragons stacking on. He's got a pretty solid deck. Nope. The battle healers, they're not healing hard enough. Okay, that electric dragon I put down kind of just melted. Terrible idea. But that's okay, I have six battle healers stacked up on the right side now. That's it. Six battle healers on the right side. You can't stop this massive battle healer push. Let's rage it up. He is stopping something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's the, the freaking baby dragons. I can't deal with it. What? I made this. I do like my poison. Rage is fun, but I think I might have to go tornadoes for this. Okay, this this is the one. I can feel it. We just built the ultimate deck as we evolved. Hunter, I faced a hunter before. Now we're gonna ignore those gobby gobs on that side. Let's do a baby dragon on the right side. Freaking princess, get out of here. Oh no. We need to get rid of that baby dragon. I'm going to do a battle healer to heal the, that electro dragon from all those battle scars it just had to deal with. 
And then in the meantime, I do want to mirror my battle healer on the left side. Maybe do a night witch to stack up some witches. And then now I have a baby dragon to deal with those barbarians for the splashy splash goodness. And the baby dragon is really good because it can take care of the elixir golem mites and the elixir droplet things. Let's do a sparky in the very, very back. We're going to need to start preparing for that uh, giant skeleton. Battle healer survived the giant skeleton. I'm going to poison the right side with the witch and the princess out there. I don't want to engage too, too hard when he has a giant skeleton on the map. Not until I have two battle healers to support each other. There we go. Let's do that there. I want to start stacking my baby dragons. Okay, we have a spark going on. Tornado is some of that. Oh my heck. Nothing is getting... He's got three princesses? Get out of here. I gotta poison that. Battle healers. We're stacking battle healers. All of them. Tornado that noise. Giant skeleton. I'm not scared of you. I have multiple, multiple battle healers. You're losing the momentum now. This is it. Poison there. Tornadoes, all of that out of here. We got the momentum built up. Double battle healers. Baby dragons. That's it. There's not enough. This is the one. That is a solid deck. I'm feeling really, really good about this. Baby Dragon, Electro Dragon. Once those start stacking up really good, that's so good. If Magic Archer wasn't poo poo, if they didn't nerf it to the ground, into a garbage can, I would have it in this deck. But he stinks. So he's not coming in here. This challenge is all about ramping up that good eagerness. I'm gonna do a Night Witch in the very back on the right side. I have to deal with that Magic Archer though. Oh, we're gonna poison that Firecracker. Battle healer right off the bat. I want that Night Witch alive a little. Oh, freaking heck. I hate you, Magic Archer. You may stink, but you also don't feel good to be facing against right now. Wow, he ignored my elixirs on the left side. All right, let's poison that Witch. Let's stack up the battle healers on that Mega Knight. We have three battle healers on the right side. I'm going to support that Sparky with a baby dragon. Maybe a Night Witch in the very back. We have an Elixir Dragon. Or Elixir Dragon. We have an Electro Dragon. Battle healers are still alive on the right side. This is too beautiful. All right, let's move all those things into the poison. There's a lot of things that were stacking and I wasn't poisoning enough. I don't even know what's going on. I think I'm winning. I think I need more battle healers on the left side. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. I'm going to poison that princess down there. Tornado that magic archer and the firecracker into that poison. More battle healers. That's what we need. When you put a Mega Knight and it does nothing because there's five battle healers there, you're doomed. You're so doomed. That's it. This is the snowball push. You cannot stop this. Oh, this is so good. I'm feeling really good about this deck.
I'm not using poison enough to take out the magic archers or the firecrackers, though. Those start stacking up real fast. I might even go so far as to say magic archer or firecracker would work better than the night witch. Just because they lay in the back, they start stacking up. You can have potentially up to five of them. You, you gotta poison those things out. Now, if he does any funny business with my night witch, we're gonna do battle healers. Yeah, the firecracker hit my night witch, so... We're going to mirror that. Let's go for a baby dragon on the left side. And a night witch. I need some DPS to take out that elixir golem. Holy heck. Let's get that firecracker into that poison. The way that everything was intended. Baby dragon, electric dragon, take out those two inferno dragons. Now let's start stacking battle healers on the left side. He's not going to know what's going to hit him. Inferno dragons are nothing with my electro dragons. Let's start stacking that. We have three battle healers on the left side now. He still hasn't dealt with my battle healers on the right side. Holy heck. Okay, I need to poison those two firecrackers real quickie. That's good. Let's do Baby Dragon down there. We're going to start stacking them again. And then I'm going to do Battle Healers on the right side. Because I don't want to give that Executioner way not not too much value. Let's tornado some things up there. But that's good. That, that's it. That's the 9-0 victory. Except for that one time the guy beat me. But he inspired me. I'm glad that guy beat me though. Because the Baby Dragon stacking are so obnoxious. I forgot how strong the Baby Dragon is. And just how many get in the air. You can't fireball them. They splash. Their air. There's a legendary chest with 1,000 star points. And 20,000 gold that I don't need. I've got to spend it all. I hate it. I don't want to sit at max gold. Oh my gosh. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and good luck in the challenges. This is going to be one of the best decks in the game. Everything's a little bit flexible. I know it's a little frustrating facing a Sparky on this deck, especially if you can't get the Electro Dragon in the front with too many Executioners, with too many Wizards in the front. So you may want to consider using Rocket in here, but I feel pretty good about this. I feel pretty good about this combo. Just Baby Dragons and Electro Dragons to take the Sparkies out. You have the Poison for the Firecrackers and the Magic Archers. Just Tornado everything together once they start stacking up. And that's going to be so, so, so much good value in there. They're going to bank on hoping that they have three Firecrackers and two Magic Archers to take out your 10 massive push. Giant Skeleton Bomb does not kill Battle Healers. Mega Knight does not kill Battle Healers. So once you start stacking two, four Battle Healers on both lanes, they cannot stop anything. You don't need to worry about the Elixir Droplet at the bridge. It's fine. You just have to worry about destroying them and you your pushes will be forward and you're going to keep collecting those Droplets from the bridge. It's so fast in this challenge. It doesn't matter that this is a 4.0 deck. It plays like a 2.0 deck. It's so fast. That's it for this video. Good luck in this challenges. Until next time, thank you everyone that is using code OJ. Stay tuned for more quality OJ.